All right, it's Madden Ultimate Team Solo Challenge. You know the drill. Let's get right down to it. And the offense readies for a first down and 10. Now Goff on first down. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. Cameron Wake in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. On second down, here's Goff. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Call it a gain of five. And they'll be facing a third and 12. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware. Ball may come your way. A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. And that is incomplete. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and that just continued there with that incompletion. Yeah, definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. Three yards on the punt, return of four, and possession will switch hands first and ten. All right, let's focus now on Giovanni Bernard. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. Cousins on first down. He couldn't quite hold it, got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Cousins to throw it. Looking again for Watkins, and this time that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 40. A good pick up there, a 22. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. First half in the... And we've seemingly lost communication with Larry. Good news, though. Both teams somehow already back on the field and ready for the third quarter. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. And he can't quite bring it in. Might have heard footsteps there across the middle. Second down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those. Tom Gurley, wave goodbye. 30, the 20. Touchdown. Tom Gurley, 75 yards. And his guys are an extra point away now from taking the lead. Well called, well blocked, and then he just made a great play. That was an athlete going a long way. Yeah, how about the suddenness, too, of just getting there and taking off and going for the defensive guys? Plays like that really hurt. Zerline out now to kick this one away. This is taken at his four. 
And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Playing against a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Now that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Give him a couple on the run there. It'll be second and 13. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. Time starting to run out here in the fourth. This defense just trying to keep the offense off the board and preserve this potential victory. Throwing Cousins. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. And, of course, the quarterback in this situation, he's realizing time is becoming a factor. Let's see if they can get some points on the board here late. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Heck of a broken tackle, but only able to work this down near the 23. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. Again, here's Bernard. Breaks a tackle. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. down to the three but no further brought the power run out of the bag and got a couple extra yards with it they'll look to throw flushed out and this will be a touchdown Kirk Cousins, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And his guys have taken the lead here in the fourth. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Cousins steps away to his left. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, 
someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that extra, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. Now this offense ready to head back out there. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though. Be and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Cameron Wake in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. Now gone. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked by the Hall of Famer, Mel Blunt. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. To throw his Cousins. Wide open is Watkins. He's got him. And he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks at the eight-yard line. here to throw dancing to his left so a loss of five and it'll be second down here's Cousins and this is caught and that could seal it it's a touchdown and that touchdown should make you feel comfortable but do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. Gano out to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. Now on the return, oh no, the ball is loose. It's going the other way. And that should just about do it. They return it to the end zone, sealing it with a defensive touchdown. I tell you, Charles, you play to the final whistle, I get that. But there are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score late in the game with it already well in hand. You seem a little squeamish about that last I, score. I struggle with it. <laughs> I struggle. But on the other, the, the argument, I get it, on the other side is, hey, do something about it. Stop them. I guarantee you, I know who was really excited, fantasy owners yeah. who had them. Hey, listen, get the points from me. They're not worried about hurt feelings or anything like that. That's just new age stuff. And here now the offense heading back out there. They're down big here late. I, I don't know. You just one last drive here for Pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. It's almost... And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. To throw on second down is gone. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. He was looking for Todd Gurley. Third down here. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Now a desperation throw deep depth into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Mitchell. Nice job. Congratulations. Defeating the Madden Ultimate Team. Solo challenge. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, follow me on social media, and once again, thanks for watching.